Now, perhaps more than ever, as we spend more time at home, it is a great time to start feeding birds. In this quick video tip, I'm going to briefly show you some of my feeders and share some information for getting started feeding and observing birds in your backyard. Now this is a bird feeder that I actually squirrel proofed. It was pretty easy, I just took some aluminum flashing and wrapped it around this pole. Now whenever a squirrel tries to climb up it, it just slides down the bottom. But look, looks like we're running low on seed and a little bit of suet there, so we'll have to fill this up. Let's talk a little bit about what you use to feed birds. Okay, so you've decided to, you want to feed birds. Awesome. Now, the confusing part of picking your own bird seed. Now, quite frankly, the more types of food that you offer out there, the more types of birds you'll attract. But if you're just beginning, my number one suggestion would be black oil sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds attract the most species of birds that you can get with just one type of food. If you want to supplement that with a second type, I would suggest using suet because that will attract things like woodpeckers. Let's get out there and fill our feeders. One key to attracting birds to your feeders is consistency. Make sure there aren't any gaps in your offering of food. Every time you fill a bird feeder, take the opportunity to make sure everything is clean and undamaged. Your bird seed should be dry. Remove any wet or moldy food immediately to avoid getting birds sick. Even though I think I squirrel proof this feeder, I've added a bungee cord to make sure no overzealous animal or wind will knock the top off. If you don't have a bird feeder, no worries. You can sprinkle bird seed along the edges of your yard near cover to attract a variety of birds. Mixed bird seed, particularly with white millet or cracked corn, work very well for this. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor.